Hello you legends and welcome back to Create Inc. In this video we are going to discuss some exciting new updates for the Stitcher add-on. For those of you who are not aware of what this add-on is, it's a Blender add-on that takes your G-code, loads it into Blender and allows you to create some beautiful product renders or time lapses like this one. It comes with a lot of customization. These are all the options that are available to you and they have all been detailed in the very comprehensive documentation that I've written for the add-on. Link is in the description. If you would like to talk directly to me or if you're an existing customer, please do join our Discord because that is where I provide a lot of support. And I do pride myself in providing top-notch customer service. The link for the add-on for the purchase is available in the description. It's available on Gumroad and Blender Market. There is also a $5 off coupon code for Gumroad. Now that that's out of the way, let's see what's new in this add-on. So there are a lot of small and big bug fixes. There is an overall improvement in the quality and the performance. There are also some new materials in the add-on. But the biggest new feature this update is this Ender 3 model that the add-on now ships with. So let's just take a look at how to load G-Code and how we can utilize this scene. The process for loading G-Code into Blender is still the same as before. If you're interested, you can check out my previous tutorials as well. So the first step, of course, is you go to your favorite slicer and you find a file that you want to print. So I'm going to be using this Benchy file and I am using the Creality Ender 3 profile, but you can use any printer. It's, you're not bound to Creality Ender 3. I'm only using it because it will fit on the build plate nicely. So you can use any G-code from Orca Slicer, Prusa Slicer or Bamboo Studio. So let's just go ahead and slice it. Once the slicing is done, you export the G-code and let's move back to Blender. Once you've exported the G-code, you come back into Blender. The process to load the G-code into Blender is still the same as before. You hit N on your keyboard you find the Stitcher add-on and this time you click load Ender 3 scene. This will load the printer for you and set up the scene, the lighting and everything. Now the scene has been loaded. You hit the tilde key on your keyboard and go to view selected. You can zoom in, you'll find the printer here. You can zoom in right on the build plate. So here everything has been set up. Do not change the parent here because it's very important for the model to load correctly. Here you'll see this nozzle is fully rigged and working, the screws and everything, all of it moves with the layer index. So let's say I put it to 700. You will see the screws move, the wheels here, they move and the, the entire gantry goes up and down. So let's go ahead and find a G-code file and load it into Blender. So just click here and find your G-code file wherever it is. I found it and then just click load G-code. And here we are. You can see the gantry moved by itself. It updated itself. Since the number of layers here, here is 240, it came to 240 and you can use the layer index property to create your time lapse. There are more detailed instructions in the documentation that I've written. The link is in the description. Please do check it out. And that's mostly what it is. And I can show you a little bit of the lighting to give you a better idea of what it is. Let's just go to the rendered view. This is what the lighting looks like. You can go ahead and change the color if you want. That looks good enough. Yeah, so that's mostly it for this scene and you can check out the documentation for the rest. I'm also writing a tips and tricks section in the documentation that will show you how you can use services like vast.ai that rents out GPUs to make your time-lapse renders on the cloud. So I use vast.ai for all my time-lapse renders 
and a full HD render which is 20 to 25 seconds in length will cost you one to two dollars to make often less if you know what you're doing for more you can join our subreddit or our discord my patreon is on the screen all my patreon supporters will get priority access to all the new updates patreon supporters in the tier dolphin or above get a 100 off discount code for this add-on and free or discounted access to all the future projects with that we're at the end of yet another video hit the like button if you liked it dislike if you didn't hit the subscribe button comment give me some engagement i will be back with more exciting projects and until next time just keep building